conjoined twins are very rare. It is thought there is only one in every 200,000 births, and around 40 to 60% of these births are delivered stillborn. Only 25% survive, and there are many famous cases around the world. For some reason, female siblings tend to have better survival rate than male siblings. The most famous case was that of the Hilton sisters, the first case of conjoined twins found in the UK. Their mother got pregnant when she was still very young and couldn't take care of them, so when the siblings were born, she delivered them to a matron called Mary Hilton. Mary took advantage of the girl's condition and used them to make money. The sisters, Daisy and Violet, were joined at the hip, though they both had their own vital organs. Mary Hilton abused and exploited them as a show, and when she died, her daughter Edith continued her work. She married Mayor Mayers, a circus manager. They kept on exploding the girls and toured them around the world. Eventually, they were prosecuted for the abuse of the girls, and thanks to a man called Martin Arnold, they were finally free. Since then, Daisy and Violet stayed in the United States making their own choices about their lives. Well, always together, and making their own show, Hilton Sisters Review. They also starred in the 1932 film Freaks. People are very curious about the dating department when it comes to conjoined twins. Well, Violet found love, but no state would allow her to get married. She managed to get married years later, and so did Daisy. Unfortunately, neither of their marriages lasted more than a month. In 1951, they starred in Chained for Life, a movie about a love triangle between the two sisters and the same man. This movie was not successful at all, and the sisters went bankrupt. They appeared in some other shows while one of them voted Democrat and the other Republican. A marketing thing? Who knows? They opened the hot dog stand, but the competition sabotaged them due to their condition. During the last days, they worked at the grocery store. In early January 1969, they were found dead. Daisy died first, followed by Violet three or four days later. Another well-known case is that of the Soviet Union conjoined sisters. They were born in the 1950s and were separated not from each other but from their mother, who was told her daughters were dead. Dasha and Marsha shared three lungs, one liver, one reproductive system and two legs. The Soviet Union services took advantage of them and the sisters were used as lab rats. They were burned, frozen and electrocuted, not necessarily in that order, to test if they could feel each other's pain. When Stalin died, their experiment has stopped. The sisters' lives finally changed when they were taken to a rehab center where they learned to walk. There, Dasha fell in love with a fellow student, but Masha put a stop to the romance. After that, Dasha tried to kill herself multiple times, but Masha stopped her every time. They were declared disabled and for 20 years they were kept in terrible conditions in a retirement home, though not as terrible as before. Masha seemed to be happy there, but Dasha had a very hard time living that way. In the 80s, their case became internationally known thanks to a journalist named Juliet Butler, who claims that both sisters have very different personalities. Masha was aggressive and dominant over Dasha, who was friendly and affectionate. They died in 2003, being the eldest living conjoined twins in the world. Masha died first, and Dasha died a few hours later. You thought that was all? No. The story of the Hensel twins shows the other side of the coin. Abby and Brittany are from the United States, and they share two arms, two legs, two lungs, Two hearts, two stomachs, one small intestine, and one reproductive system. These ladies, still alive, have spent their entire lives learning to coordinate their bodies and their tastes, and they still have many adventures to live together. Thank you for watching this Draw My Life about conjoined twins. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends. Leave us in the comment section down below which organs you'd like to share and which ones you'd never give up. See you on the next video!